welcome to Slated for More. Today, we are going to talk to someone who is just entering into the photography field and see how their experiences contrast with the other photographers that we have interviewed so far. So why don't you introduce yourself, tell the name of your business, and how long you've been doing photography. So my name is Austin Shaw, and I have Austin Shaw Photography. I've been doing it for, I think, three years now. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 19. Okay. So see, you can start out early. Mm -hmm. And how did you originally, like what interested you in starting in photography? So I was taking pictures on my phone because the sun rises when I went to school really cool. And then I sent them into yearbook so mm -hmm. they could use some of them like the football field and they said they really liked it so they want me to take more pictures mm -hmm. so I just started taking more pictures and then I realized that I liked it and I was really good at it awesome so, yeah. and so is that what keeps you motivated just kind of seeing how much people like your work yeah like okay. I went to Art Basel in Miami over the last week and mm -hmm. a lot of people liked all my stuff and some of them knew that I took them in Wichita which is cool yeah, we have a pretty supportive community here locally for, for photography, don't you think? Yes. So um, speaking into that, do you have somebody that has mentored you along the way? or? Um, well, one of my teachers, her name is Debbie Johnson. She helped mm -hmm. me a lot and got me a lot of good things to enter photography into. But also I, she helped me get a class at Mark Arts. Uh -huh. And also my mom, because she's an artist. She does abstract work. Uh, Jay Shaw Studio. And, Shout out. <laughs> and so she um, has helped me a lot as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm assuming, did you just graduate? Yes, Are you... I'm a freshman now at Wichita State. Okay, so how does photography work into your daily schedule with going to classes? So I just go to classes normally. I'm in a drawing class now, but then... I take I do sports photography for the newspaper, but right now I'm just doing women's basketball. So I'm doing that, but I'm also like I have a online shop where I sell my prints and then I also like oh. into Art Basel Miami and I've done some final Friday shows. So I'm doing more community things as well. So of those things that you're doing, are you getting paid for all of those things? Um well the Miami trip it was all expenses paid mm -hmm. through a, a group called Youth Entrepreneur. Uh -huh. And then the Final Friday show, I got to, I didn't make any money, but I just got to put up my art for free in it. Right. So, but it's just to get my name out there. Right. So how have you, have you done much that, where you've actually been commissioned to do? Like, have you been paid for photography? And if so, how did those people find you? Um, well, a lot of it was me putting up art in different shows. Like I've sold a few prints and then mostly friends and family who have liked my stuff and I sold prints to them and then they've hung it up in their walls mostly. And, and friends and family sharing out like that you're doing it and yeah. all that. So really those personal connections that you have in the real world is where you started out. Yes. Okay. Um, and then have you found any clients from, say, social media? Um, not really any from social media. I have people contacting me through it, but I had someone, one of my friend's moms um, had someone contact me to do photography work for an author. Oh, cool. So that's um, kind of something else I did. And that's one of the things I got paid for because I have lights and backdrops for a studio that I set up in my house. Oh, cool. And so I took pictures from an author there. Okay, so you do studio and that was going to be my next question was yeah, I, what style of photography do you I, do? I do a lot of street and landscapes and I do a few like photo portraits and studio stuff, but not as much, but okay. I'd like to get into it. Okay. Um, and then I guess... Um, if you were talking to someone else, maybe still in high school, who is wanting to start out, what would you tell them to do? Like, what are the first steps? 
So this is what everyone who did it told me. And I just say, take as many pictures as you can because uh -huh. you get better the more you take. So just take pictures as much as you can, like all the time, everywhere. Did you feel like people were pretty supportive of you starting out trying to do this to make money? Yeah, well, because I didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to do before this. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of like doing, just kind of figuring out what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then I found this and my parents were happy that I found something that I'm really interested in and want to do. Yeah, I think it's important to be able to have a career. And that's kind of part of the point of this blog and YouTube channel is that it mm -hmm. is important to do something that you really care about and that you enjoy. I mean, you spend... The majority of your life working, you might as well enjoy it, right? Yeah. Um, so what are you going to school for? So I'm studying photography. Okay. That's what I'm doing in school. And you can't really do photography classes in the beginning. You have to work your way up to like drawing classes and 2D design classes first. And then you can start doing photography at Wichita State. Mm -hmm. So I'm working my way up to get to those classes. What classes do you think have benefited you the most? both in photography and outside of it? Um, well, I think just like, for me, not really any classes besides photography, because I took a photography class at Mark Arts, mm -hmm. which really helped. And then I also took drawing classes just to do something different, but it hasn't really helped me in photography. It's just helped me doing like other art, like painting and stuff, because drawing is like the basis for everything else. Right. Do you take any business classes? Do they tell you how to kind of start up the actual business side of it? Well, I took Youth Entrepreneur mm -hmm. in high school, and that's where I got started with business and all that stuff. Is that a program that is at several of the high schools? or Yeah, just... it's at several high schools around the country. It's not too big yet. The Coke started it. Okay. And it's just where you go into class, you learn how to run a business. And you have a market day where you sell something and then you make money. Okay. So really getting involved in those programs in high school really jump-started you in this yes. career path. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then, and really you were making money before you even went into college, right? Yeah. So you got a jump start on it. Yeah. I feel like that's important too is... Um, you know, with some of the, I've interviewed two other photographers so far, and and one of the things they said is, you know, don't quit your day job right away. That you need time to build it up, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's what you're doing. Like, yes. if you are young, you can start your business now. There's no reason to wait until you graduated, and mm -hmm. and use that time to build a portfolio and and test things out and and build that kind of community and, and following for your business. Yeah. Well, also in Youth Entrepreneur, we had to create a business, whether it was real or fake, and then mm -hmm. do all the business sides of it and figure out how much everything cost and do like everything on the business side. And then we had to pitch it to people and it was like a pitching contest for money. And mm -hmm. so I chose my business. So I already learned a lot about the business side through that. Do you have a website? I do not currently. Okay. I had one, but it was right now it's just too expensive to keep up. Okay. So you're mainly operating off of social media? Yeah, just Facebook and Instagram. Okay. And do you see more um, interaction on one or the other? I definitely get more interaction on Instagram. What are kind of your goals or your next steps? My goals are just to just like get my name out there more and have people know about me more because if People know about me, then they'll spread it to other people and just keep growing. Right. So I just want to get more connections and just more people and also just get my art out there more, like in more galleries and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what, um, do you go to any networking events? Have you been to any yet? I have not yet, no. Okay, we will have to talk about that after. <laughs> um. All right, so what is kind of the day in the life like for photography for you at this point I mean how often are you working on this throughout the week so I'm probably working on it every day just mm -hmm. because I take pictures a lot just like kind of every day so I edit them and put them out but also like I said I take pictures for women's basketball and mm -hmm. this past weekend at one game I took over a thousand pictures mm -hmm. so I have to go 
I have to go through all the thousand pictures and delete all the bad ones and then go through and edit the good ones. And is that something like, did you, are you shooting those for the school? Those are for, they're not for the school yet. They're just for me, but mm -hmm. also I send them out to the athletic department, but I just ah. want to do that for me just for the experience. Right. But you're hoping by sending them to the athletic department and all that, that they will notice you and then mm -hmm. want to have you officially do it for them. Yes. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. Any other tips, I guess, for people just starting out? Um, another tip is just really do your research on what camera you want for photography because not all cameras are the same. And there's some that are really expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you're just starting out, they're not good because if you don't really know a camera that well, they're kind of hard because you set up all the settings yourself. So I'd start with like a like a cheaper camera that's not like over a thousand dollars so you can get used to the settings and everything. Okay. All right. Well, in the next video, we are going to talk about tools and equipment. So that is a perfect segue there. <laughs> um, let why don't you tell everyone where we can find you, what your handles are on, you said Facebook and Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. So what is your handle on each of those? So my Instagram is just Austin Shaw Photography, all one word. And then my Facebook is Austin J Shaw Photography. All right. And I will put links to those in the description. Check out next week when we talk about tools and equipment. Thanks. <laughs>